Blessings everyone. Here we are in February. <laughs> it's going to be up and down. Um, I talked about these roller coaster months before and um, in the past years and this is going to be another one of those months. So um, blessings for those that, that know me. Um, welcome back and for those that don't my name is Kalina um, welcome to my channel okay everybody let's dive into a little bit of February here and I'm going to do some activations for you that are going to assist you to get through this month. Um, I'm still out of town. I'm in a hotel room right now um, finishing up some grid work and then I will be flying to another state where I will do some grid work basically going across the country for um, some things that have to be anchored for this year and um, to assist uh, the collective with the things that are being that are coming through the body and being put into the crystalline grid um, it is for everyone's highest good otherwise I don't do it and um, you know as well as my own highest good <laughs> it's part of the work that um, I was designed to do and um, I volunteered to do so it's a little part of my reason for returning to the earth so February is like, if you have not signed up for the newsletter, please remember, go sign up for that because the information in there that was channeled through from the Pleiadians this morning will be different from what is going to be in the video now. I'm just kicking off my boots because I just went for a walk. <laughs> um, so there are some things that I know some of my Patreon members already know about this because I've talked about it but a lot of times I go through certain things that are going to be upcoming either in the following month or months or could be a year or so in advance and um, so what I was going through in January was seeing how the manipulation and distortion within humanity's minds is mm, really <laughs> affluent right now for those that are not awake it's just it's like wow um and we aren't to judge towards that we are as light walkers or light workers or healers um here to hold that space for those persons and if they agree to um your help help them in ways where we can guide them so that they can go through the shifts and change that the changes that they are going through right now in the process but remember that you too are going through this process as well and everybody's going through it in so many different ways and different levels of um interception and in the of the mind the heart and the development of the highest um parts of yourself to be integrated um, for the earthly plane that you're currently in so you will go through this month um, a lot of things that are going to be brought into your attention into your awareness whether it be personal um, uh, and things at work things in family things with friends things in relationships um, what's happening uh on the world stage you know with the narrative it's all coming in to show you these parts of yourself as well that you are healing as well as helping the collective consciousness shift to that higher vibration and frequency so just as i said january in january that this year is a year of magic it's because you're going to get tested to see how and where you're going to hold your frequency that's your magic magic is being able to hold your frequency at those higher levels utilizing all of the elements okay of the earth that are also within you 
in a way that allows you not to be distracted by the noise, but to hold yourself in a place and space in love, in alignment, to transform into neutrality all that is within you so that you can transform outside of yourself for the world and the collective consciousness as well. So, um, <laughs> the hotel knocked on my door to drop off a key and I lost my channeling. <laughs> so I'm just going to tune back in here and um, see what we get. Um, There is going to be ups and downs that are going to happen this month and it's going to feel like you're being sometimes bombarded um, by energies or lower level vibrations or frequencies and that's going to be part of your test okay to get yourself back up into the higher vibration to raise your frequency not allowing the things that are going to go on to pull you down okay because we don't want to be pulled into a lower vibration or frequency where we're going to manifest more of lower level mm, thoughts <laughs> um, and realities. We want to stay up where we work in the magic and in these higher vibrations and frequencies. This is where this magic and they're showing me golden light right now this is where this golden light this is and they're showing me diamond crystalline light this is where this magic occurs that is flowing through you um there's an atlantean energy is what they're showing me i'm not sure why because they're showing me atlantis now but there's like an atlantean energy or atlantean um two sides of Atlantis they're showing me they're showing me the side that went down and the shy side that was elevated so it's almost like those energies are playing out this month for some reason um and they're going to play out within you those of you that and almost, I think everyone had lives in Atlantis because that was like thousands hundreds of thousands of years so it's like I think a couple hundred thousand years of Atlantis could be more could be less I don't know but I know it was a long time that Atlantis I mean, everything's happening at the same time anyway, so, <laughs> but there's these two sides to the coin, they're saying, two sides to the coin. Which one are you going to be on, okay? There is a relevance in balancing the planet, but you don't have to be part of the negative agenda your choice to be here and even listening to this video now is to raise your vibration and frequency to the higher levels of light shifting yourself into uh, the becoming that you are um, that you have always been and will always be which is source light okay um, you chose to come into this planet you chose to come in and be uh, forget and you chose to come in and it, it choose your awakening at this time to help Gaia and to help the shift of the collective consciousness. That's our part of the purpose here is we help Gaia through healing ourselves because when we do that, we're removing the density, we're removing that the lower level negative energies, the 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 shadow aspects and all of that from the self, from the family lineage to raise the vibration and frequency and so that the future generations don't have to go through this. And in this, in this is a new pattern that we are creating for this earth. And it's all through new sacred geometry. And in this new patterning, it is the choice of the levels of light and love that are allowing us to reflect all that we are and all that we ever have been in our highest truth, in our highest sense of our true self, while allowing our divinity to shine through. This is who you are. This is who we are as a collective, as a whole. Where do you choose to hold yourself? Where do you choose to be in this level 
of light in this game that we are playing. In this month, what I'm picking up is that there is a sense of collective fear. And in that sensing of collective fear, what I have to say with that is, it doesn't need to be there and you do not need to be a part of it. Knowing that your thoughts, knowing that your actions and your intentions change the reality of this planet and change your reality is the reason why you create magic. It is the reason why you hold yourself in certain spaces and places during your lifetime. How do you choose? How do you choose this month to be? It is going to be up and down for a lot of people. It's going to feel a bit awkward and crazy and <laughs> um, it's the time for you. It is a time of new beginnings. And if we want to change the things that are coming to the surface that we need to realize, remember real eyes, the real eyes, the eyes of the heart and the real eye. <laughs> if we choose to realize through the divinity of what we truly see and feel that we are changing the outcome of all of these events by staying focused in love, by staying focused and gathered into a group of collective consciousness beings that are here to change the world. We are co-creating the events that we've been asking for to take place. For lifetimes, we have all said and wished for things. And I know as myself for a little girl, I was brought up Catholic. Um, and I remember um, this very young priest came in our room one day. Um, I didn't go to school. There was Sunday school, but he came into our Sunday school class. He was a new priest and he was young. And he said, what's the one thing that you would really like to see in your life? You know, what's the one thing that you would really like to see? And the first word that came to mind for me was peace. Peace on this planet, peace on the earth. It was so clear, just like that. And I was, I think, seven years old. And um, I prayed for that every night. And he said, whatever it is, pray for it every night. So every night when I went to bed, I would pray for peace on the planet. I'd say, God and angels, please bring peace to this planet. And when I would say that, I would see doves in my third eye. And, and So remember all of the things that you've been asking for in this lifetime, in other lifetimes, to change the outcome events, to change how either um, humans are being treated, animals are being treated, your own soul has been treated, women have been treated, children have been treated, Men have been treated, I mean, men have been treated to shut down their emotions. But that's not the right way to live. We all came here to experience emotions. And um, everything has to be changed. And that's why it's a bit hard for the masculine to shift um, into having to feel things. So for those that aren't there yet, the, for some of the men, it's been really tough for them. And... Um, They've been told you have to be the hunter, the gatherer, the breadwinner, the this, the that. But so have the women been programmed in that too when that whole movement came that women have to be like men. So women are going to be having to shift that over masculinity as well. I talked about this in older videos years ago. But this month is going to bring some disruptions and there's going to be a lot of, I'm going to say patriarchy, programs that are going to come to the surface for everyone um, to see it, to feel it, so you know how you would like to have this displayed on the earth now. How do you want to change it? How do you want to help develop the new 
the new beginnings for our earth and for what everyone's calling the new earth. So remember that the new earth is happening within you so that it can happen outside of you. Everyone's creating their own new earth every single day. And as a collective consciousness, we are lifting and shifting the earth together so that everyone can vibrate at the higher frequencies. Everyone. So the body this month, Let's talk about the body this month. <laughs> I've been feeling a lot of like zaps and zings, um, but I always feel that all the time. But this was like a different zap and zing of like jolts of like, electricity in the body that some days were making me extremely exhausted. And I was like, ah, and I I'm the kind of person, um, I am a generator in um, the human design, so I'm always generating good energy. I always have a lot of energy. I have to go work out so that I can move my energy and <laughs> get it off me. But I have been exhausted. Um, I also know that doing the grid work in some places that, that where the energy has been very dense, it's been like, oh, I've been having to really work hard to uplift my energy. Um, so some of you are going to feel tired. I've been very thirsty. I think I have six of these big bottles in my room of water from only two days. I want the sixth one. So drink. You're going to feel, um, some of you might feel dehydrated. Eating, again, is going to be however, eat what you feel is right. Stay away from the junk, please. Stay away from the things that are full of all of the chemicals and things that aren't good for the body. But if you need to eat protein, eat protein. If you need to eat just vegetables, eat just vegetables. If you need just fruits or if you need a combination of everything, you know, eat what your body is calling to. If you need a piece of dark chocolate, have that piece of dark chocolate. Make sure it's good stuff because it'll help ground you. But listen to the body, okay? Really listen because the, the body is going to almost like feel like it's tricked into different sensations. Um, through the energies that are going to be playing out, pay attention that you're not pulled into temptations of foods this month. I just heard that loud and clear. So, because if you're feeling down, some people tend to go towards comfort food. All right. Don't get pulled into that program of that game. Know that you need something to elevate your frequency, that you need something that's going to nourish you, not make you feel even worse than you already may feel. And I'm not saying that because everyone's going to feel that way. I'm just saying that that's what happens sometimes to people. They're, they start feeling bad, so they're like, I'm going to eat a cookie or pint of ice cream because I'm feeling bad. And you're going to have a sugar high and you're going to feel good for, what, 20 minutes? And then you're going to crash and feel worse. So be really careful with your foods. Um, oh, I have something really cool I'm going to show you guys. Look at that. Mushroom honey with cacao. This was the coolest thing. Plant magic. I found it here while doing grid work. It's yummy. <laughs> use those kind of things it's an organic honey with some cacao on it and it's got like all different it's got like reishi mushrooms lion's mane shiitake turkey tail cordyceps you know all those good things shaga mataki um use that if you need something sweet in your tea that's what i got right now um but don't fall into the sugar trap okay thank you what else They're saying, remember that the mind is a tool. Not the false ego mind, but the mind is a tool to receive the information that you need to know in the moment that assists you in your development and allows you to move through life without expectation. When one is centered fully in their divine sacred heart.
gonna, um, they're just saying, it's gonna feel like an explosion of events this month. And, you know, and it may be. At the third dimensional level, it will be. So you don't have to participate in it. There are those on the earth that came as warriors to create these changes at that kind of level, like the light warriors, like Archangel Michael's Legion. Um, we have those of us that are the, the blue ray that are here, the blue ray hidden goddess that um, we've talked about before, where the blue ray hidden divine feminine that have come back to make the changes on the planet. Um, the blue beings of light, that's, you know, that's what we are. And um, I won't go into that detail right now, but there is a significance to the understanding and knowing that you returned on this planet to assist in this higher vibration and not be hidden anymore. And not just as a woman, but the divine feminine within each person, men and women. And we are here with this, you know, as these light warriors, light walkers, light warriors, that are not only assisting the change, but walking as the change, always. And though people will not understand a lot of us, most of my family doesn't understand me. People I come into contact with around my family don't understand me. It's okay. And we have to accept it. They may never understand us or what we do on this planet because they didn't choose this, but we did. So have compassion for them and have compassion for yourself at the same time. And know that each person has a specific job that they're here to do. And it's not going to be like yours. Everyone's different. Everyone's different. Is there anything else? Know your truth. Feel your heart. So I'm going to be doing some light language now. And for those that um, are on Facebook, if you didn't catch it, I went live this week on Facebook. I was told by my guides, I was told to go live on Facebook. I used to do that years ago, all the time, like two, three times a week. Um, but they had me, for whatever reason, go live a couple days ago or a few days ago and said, go live where you originally started this. And so I did out there. The Palladians came through and channeled. There's activations. There's all kinds of information and um, it's available. You can go and watch it. I went live and then it all locked up and then I had to go alive a second time. So there's two different recordings. Make sure you watch both of them. Okay. Um, Miana, ah, I just going to move my chair a little bit. <laughs> all right. For those of you that don't know what I, I do, I am a light language, um, my guides call me a light language master, light language divine key code activator. So I'm going to bring this language of light and it's going to activate you through the DNA at the cellular level for healing, for activations to assist you for this month, for things that need to come up to be released and uh, revealed to be healed. So a lot of times when people get activated on my channel, um, they, they feel, they start to feel the next couple days, like things coming up and they don't know where these emotions are coming for, from or anger or, um, things come forward that they're the, your shadow sides. Because what I see, and I've explained this before, is I see the cells with like a, almost like a, um, it's like a, a, a grayish kind of tint over it or something. It's like a shell. And when the, the light codes hit it, it literally cracks it to open and that stuff starts to come to the surface. This is how they explained how it works um, so that I would understand it in simplicity. <laughs> so when the light comes, it, codes come in, they come to assist you to change. 
um, within you so that you can step more into your light body. So it's going to bring up the things within you that you need to see within yourself that are parts of the shadows, shadow parts of you that have got to be revealed so that you can take a look at yourself and heal. And that's how I always talk about going within. You've got to go within and find these things so that they can be revealed so that you can heal these parts of you. So when this comes up, I've gotten emails and messages from people going, oh, I feel like this afterwards sometimes. Is this normal? And yes, it is. Because you've got to dive deeper to see why you're feeling that, why you're having that um, reaction come up or that emotion come up, seeing what it's connected to um, so that you can dive in and neutralize it and heal it and love. And uh, I, I do that stuff in my private sessions. I don't have any available at the moment. I, I, you know, when the newsletter finally goes out, I will open a few more for March, but um, you gotta get on and, and book them right away because everybody's like, I missed your sessions. <laughs> um, literally, I can open up 25 sessions in a month and they're booked in two hours. So please, if, if you want one, make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Newsletter goes out tomorrow. And I don't know if I think I'm probably going to open 10 for March because my schedule is so busy. So um, apologies for that. I'm also going to be doing a webinar, a collective consciousness healing webinar that will be coming up. I'll be announcing that soon in a different um, newsletter because what it's going to be is I'm going to try and do what I do in a private session. I'm being shown to do collectively in a webinar um, at the pieces and parts where everyone can focus without going into each person's subconscious um, to help you heal a lot of the things. Um, and my webinars are like $44 and they're usually two, three hours. So versus a private session, that's 333. Um, if you can't afford that, wait for that webinar. It's going to be coming and um, I'm going to do my best to try and go through different stages of healing for everyone on that webinar um, for those that just can't do a private session. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and um, let's do this. I now align and drop into my divine sacred heart. Say that out loud. Kitaros nub ut in the aros nach and ana end. Yah ut era kiaras tem. Sesiki eras tiros nu ura. Mahana en. Nihana ya. Mane und Nirana, Bach und Skiras, Sam end ihr Untarschna, Fem ihr Hachni an der Endora, Nas tod und Kiras tere ich eier, Vorho a Urania, Vorho und er Achuhi am En. Scher und eras kare to ure et ira ut urot at er och und er at er at kira ut at irsch. Vom aras nar ech und urosch nach und immer anda. Nes kiras dira ur und ira am ar ere e. Vom ira ai. It's a time of new beginnings and purity, purification within yourself, so that you may be that Christed child of God that you are. Ahana fohe marasnakia maya. Call upon your family of light, the angels, the masters, 
your guides. Samir Hamd Irantinisna Shura Uch to assist you always in every moment. Allow yourself to know that we are always with you and ready to assist. Katehi Urahna Nasa. Even though this month is going to be up and down, <laughs> in and out, feeling backwards at times, <laughs> you're going to be shown your strength. Remember, it's the year of the dragon. If you haven't watched my Language of Light dragon video, go watch that. You can use that all year long. That video was created. I've got some more videos coming up with Language of Light of different um, dialects that I'll be putting out. But it was created as a clearing video. There's a lot of activations in there, but it's a major clearing video. It clears everything that you may have stuck on you. Go back and listen to it as many times as you need to throughout the year. Share it. Um, with people that you know can benefit from getting that clearing, getting that healing. It is extremely power. I've gotten emails from it. I've gotten people contacting me about it. They're saying it's the most powerful clearing they've ever felt in their life. So please utilize it to help yourself and help others on this planet. Um, it is the year of the dragon, February 10th. Um, it is the beginning of the year of the dragon. So be strong in your knowing and trust everything that's coming up on this planet is for the change that we have asked for as a collective, okay? You have to step in your power this year and be part of that change. Don't just sit there and say, oh, someone else is going to do it because that is not how we do things and that's not why you came back. <laughs> you didn't come back to do that. Purity is our goal. There's massive purification. There's also awakening this month with a lot of the stuff that's going to happen at the third dimensional level. So just know that some people are going to have those aha moments and click and go, whoa, 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 that's not right. And that's when they're going to start their awakening. It can be from anything. I can't tell you what. I just know what I see, feel, and um, what my team is telling me. Um, so, and then for those of you that were just listening to the light language, just so you know, the toning and stuff that comes through me is from the Pleiadian aspect of myself, because the Pleiadians, um, we work with sound and light and vibration. And like I explained years ago, the sacred geometries that come in, but it creates the sound and tones in my voice. And you'll notice on, if you're on the Facebook and you watch that, how my voice changes because the Pleiadian aspect of myself really comes in then you'll really notice how my voice changes there. It's always done that for years uh, when I would um, channel them, but it's, um, yeah, there's a lot happening. So new beginnings this month, and though it may feel a little bit crazy and um, into March, because they're showing me in, they're like flowing it into March, the energy, um, know that it's the outcome of this is going to be as best as you're gonna create it to be. Use your magic shift into that higher frequency and vibration by doing what you love, by following your heart, by using dancing, um, creation, um, getting in nature, being in the water where the codes are held, anything that you can do that raises your frequency, that brings you into joy, okay? That's where you're gonna need to be for raising your vibration. Do it, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. So, um, is there anything else? Okay, I've got the Pleiadian Soul Collective here and they're saying, yes, we love you. And know that we are not far away. 
and you are us. We are you. All is well. All right, thank you. Eternal love, eternal light, eternal life. Maya Kita, Maya Ant. Many blessings, everybody. Hang in there this month. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. I love you. You so do for a